Howdy and welcome to the guide. If you're looking for a super cheap build that can do all the in-game content, then you've come to the right guide. Stick around until the end to check out the Elder and Shaper clips. Let's get into the guide. If you saw my first guide for the Thirsty Queen, then you know that I was using the Kitava's Feast Axe. I've decided to completely scrap that because I was having some issues dealing with in-game content. I found that my character wasn't tanky enough and that I didn't have enough damage and means to get my damage going. So, I started looking into other options. After doing some research, I decided to go with a one-handed weapon and shield. My character's personal damage has dropped, but the damage of all of my minions has increased significantly, thus making this build great in the endgame, even on a low budget. All of my items are extremely cheap, so this is a character that will be easy to get going, while still being a fun and proactive playstyle. I've reworked some of my gem links, which we'll get into shortly, but doing that has given my character a lot better offense and defense. For our new weapon, we are using a one-handed rare weapon. Here is the one I'm using. I recommend finding something similar to this, with an emphasis on a high attack speed so you can leap slam around faster. For my shield, I'm using the unique Invictus Solaris. I'll talk about my weapon and shield in more detail in the next section. Overall, the playstyle of the build hasn't changed much. You leap slam around into packs and brawl with your minions, and then move on to the next pack. I've upped my zombies from 8 to 10, and reworked my passive tree a little bit. If you're interested in seeing the final skill tree, the path of building link is in the description below. Okay, next I want to talk about my gear and what's changed on the character since last time in a little bit more detail. So, first uh, I did a little bit of research and I found out that minion gems, especially Dominating Blow and Herald of Purity, they scale insanely well off of gem levels. So, um, first thing I want to talk about is this shield here. This is a really cheap shield right now. It's about it was about four to five chaos near the end of the league. Um, the reason this is really good is because you get plus two to level of your socketed gems. And Herald of Purity, it scales really well with gem levels. It's only on a 3 link right now, before I had it on my 5 link in my body. But my damage is basically doubled with this shield. And it could be even better if I had this corrupted properly. There's actually, the reason this shield is really good is because you can get a corruption that has plus 2 to level of duration gems, or just a good plus, just a regular plus 1 level of socketed gems corruption, which also would also be fine. They do the exact same thing, but if you look at Herald of Purity, it has a duration marker on it. So, since it has that tag, plus two level of duration corruption would actually give you plus four levels to your Herald of Purity. Um, and then you want to link it with Empower and Minion Damage, or if you had another red slot here, you can do like Melee Fizz would be perfectly fine too. But you need at least two red um, sockets for this to work, because you need the Empower. It's absolutely crucial. Um, and this has boosted my damage a lot. In terms of this weapon, um, what you want to look for here, so I have my Dominating Blow socketed in here. You want, an, again, another plus two to level of your socketed melee gems, because Dominating Blow does have a melee tag, so there's tons and tons and tons of weapons, rare weapons, one-handed weapons, that have this plus two level of socketed melee gems. You don't want to find one that doesn't have this. And this weapon looks like it might be expensive, but actually the DPS is kind of low. It's only about like 200 DPS. So if you go into PoE Trade and you search for about 200 DPS weapons, you can find a ton of these for really cheap. I got this one for 10 Chaos. And what you want to look for again is the gem levels, plus two to uh, the socketed melee gems. And then you want two other modifiers that have some kind of support built into them. So this one has socketed gems are supported by level 16 melee fizz and also level 18 multi-strike. Um, you can find some other ones, like this for example, this sword has plus, you know, three uh, modifiers on it, so it's the plus two, and then it has brutality, chance to bleed, and ancestral pull. Uh, so you can find some with plus three, they get a little more expensive. I got this one for pretty cheap though, this is about like, I bought it for ten silver coins, which is kind of weird, I think somebody was just trying to dump it off at the end of the league, but uh, I can't use this one because of brutality, I'm still using hatred, but if you're going full fizz it would work. But anyways, for this, um, personally I wanted one with a higher attack speed, this has 1.85 attacks per second, so I leap slam around really fast. And then I've got my Dominating Blow in there with Ruthless and Maim, and 
then also we have, because of the weapon, the melee fizz, multi-strike, and it's like a free empower. The plus two is basically a free empower, so it's kind of like a pseudo six link. Um, as, as you notice, I don't have any kind of like AoE, I don't have a melee splash, I don't have ancestral call. The only way I would get that is if it was built into the weapon like this, but um, it hasn't really hurt my clear speed at all, even without the AoE on it, because my zombies and the Herald of Purity, they all have, they both have a um, AoE attack anyways, so I haven't noticed a major drop off in my clear speed at all. I'd rather have more damage straight up front. And one other thing I want to note, I want to note real quick is that actually I wanted to use this claw, I just couldn't get three red uh, sockets on it. But this, I would actually recommend finding this kind of claw because one problem the build has, it's not a really a major problem, but this would solve it anyways, is leech and this claw obviously has a 2% of physical attack damage leads to life, and that would completely solve all of your leech woes. So just keep that in mind. But quickly, I'll show you um, the rest of my gear. It's basically the same as last time uh, in the last video, but you want to get a bone helmet because they uh, increase minion damage, and also just look for life and resist whatever you need. And then for the uh, sockets, I've got leap slam, faster attacks, fortify and my Enduring Cry. I try to keep uh, my Endurance charges up all the, all the time, as much as I can. Then Amulet, get in Presence. I like in Presence because you get extra stats to help fill out whatever you need, decks mainly. Uh, you get some physical damage. Armor comes in handy a lot. I think it's really underrated on this Amulet. And then also you get some life and vulnerability for free on a Blasphemy, which I actually do have it uh, worked into my build now with a Blasphemy, so that's been nice. And then my body, I'm using Queen's Hunger. Um, this was new in this patch, 3.5, but uh, it's not mandatory, but it's it's kind of nice because every five seconds you get a free offering to you and your minions. It's a little bit weaker on you, but uh, it's good because it gives you life and some energy shield other than that, and it gives you three random mods. So there's a lot of interesting kind of items you can get. It's It gets unveiled like you find in the Betrayal Encounters, so... You can get some interesting stuff, and this one gives me gives me extra dexterity, so it's actually quite nice on this build. Um, my ring, this is n in no way necessary, but just I was looking for something with dexterity, and I found this ring for like 100 chaos, so it's a little bit expensive, but it works for my build. But just look for life, and if you need extra dexterity, you can get it on your ring slot pretty easy. And then any resist that you might need, and then after that, damage. Again, I'm using Red Blade Band still. I think it's really good. Uh, you get more gem levels for your Golem, which I have my Stone Golem in here. And it gives you a little bit of life, strength, and an extra defensive layer because of the extra taunt with your Golem. For boots, you just want to get some two-tone boots would be fine. I needed a lot of resistances, so I went for two-tone boots for a little bit more. But just look for life, uh, resists, and then armor, basically, in that order. Uh, if you don't need two-tone boots, you don't have to get them, but I just need to be extra resists. And then for my links, so I got my Blasphemy and my Vulnerability. Like I said, it's free because of Impresence. It doesn't cost any mana. And then we have a Ball Summon Skeletons. I dropped this on bosses. And my Hatred. Oh, and sorry, for my body links, I'm using my Raised Zombie in here. And I found that my zombies were dying a lot. Um, so I went for a little bit more of a defensive setup on my zombies because their, their damage is still pretty good. Um, so you want you want to get an empower for more life. Uh, it also gives them a little more damage too, but it gives them more health, which is why I got it. Melee fizz, mini life again. I don't want them to die on higher tier bosses, which they do fine in like mid tier maps without this. But um, higher tier stuff, I don't want them dying all the time because they're a good defensive layer for us. And then ruthless and haste, vol haste. I'm not using the haste aura, but we drop vol haste against tougher enemies. Your belt. You want to get a lot of life, resist, and that's basically, if you can get some armor on it, that would be good, but just try to fill out your life and resist here. And then for gloves, you want to get a high armor glove if you can, but mainly focus on life and resist and maybe some dexterity if you're having a hard time getting it on your other slots. Uh, like if you can't get it on your helmet or your ring, you probably could get them on here, but I just went for one with strength for more health. And that's pretty much the gear. Uh, last links here, I got Convocation, 
with um, cast one damage taken, of course. And then you want to have raise specter with blood magic because I'm using the Carnage Chieftain, you can see them running around right here. If they don't have the blood magic, they will not give you frenzy charges very much. You, you kind of have to have more blood magic, so just keep that in mind. And then, other than that, there's not much. This body's not mandatory, but if you want another option, as I think Adziri Splendor is good. Go for an armor and energy shield version, because we do have some energy shields, as you can see. It's not, you know, it helps a little bit. It's not the best, but it helps a little bit. But I went for one that had life, armor, and energy shield, and this is a good option because it'll give you some resist too, and an extra thousand armor. This doesn't have any armor, so this is actually pretty good for the build. Um, but that's pretty much it. The only other thing, flasks, so I'm sticking with the Lion's Roar. Um, if you don't want to use Lion's Roar because you don't like the knockback, uh, you can drop it for just a regular granite flask, but I kind of like the extra damage against bosses. I'm using Azir's Promise. Extra Chaos Resist, a little bit more damage and leech. And then uh, I'm going with a Silver Flask now for the free Onslaught, and I have it with some mana and leech. It's not actually that necessary because we have so much intelligence and we regenerate a lot of mana, so it's okay, we have a lot of mana. But Onslaught's nice, it gives you an attack speed boost, which helps against bosses on dump. With, when you're using Dominating Blow and Herald of Purity, you want to attack faster so you can summon your minions back quicker, so just keep that in mind. And then I'm using a Sulfur Flask with um, a Freeze Removal. And this is good for the extra damage boost to you, but also Consecrated Grounds makes you and your minions tankier. Gives you a bunch of life regen. And last, Life Flask. I went for a bigger Life Flask. I got rid of the um, immediate recovery on low life. But just look for a Bleed Removal and anything else is probably okay to be honest. But that's pretty much it. Um, I got a couple videos here next about me killing the Shaper and Red Elder. Uh, this, this build is definitely capable of doing them. I uh, did Elder completely deathless. That was actually my first time ever killing Elder. I'm a pretty casual player, so if I can do it, you can definitely do it with this build. Also, this build is really cheap, by the way. I got this sword for 10 Chaos. I don't know if I mentioned that. And this shield is like 5 Chaos. And even with the Corruption I said before, you can probably still get it for like 20 Chaos, most likely. Because it's not meta at all. Um, the damage on this isn't so good, which is why it's cheap. Once, once the DPS gets up to like above 300, they start getting a little more expensive, but you can probably get a weapon like this for like 10, 15 chaos, so just keep that in mind. So this is a really cheap build that can do all in-game content, but I couldn't do Shaper Deathless, but it was actually my uh, first and second try ever doing Shaper, but I managed to kill him both times, and honestly some of the deaths were kind of stupid, just me like standing in his beam or running straight into his balls or whatever, but I totally think it, it's viable, uh, in-game viable now, and it could probably do even Uber Elder, maybe Deathless, I think. If, if I was a better player, I could probably do Shaper Deathless and Uber Elder. I haven't tried Uber Elder, but I think it's possible. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into the final videos. Uh, please enjoy. If you like uh, this video, drop a like, give me a subscribe, that would be nice, and I do stream on Twitch occasionally, so look me up at twitch.tv slash cats. As usual, all the path of building is in the info below. If I went through some stuff too fast, please check it out at your leisure. Thanks, have a good one.